Hi guys, today I'm going to take you on a bit of a tour of our living room. Now this was one of the first rooms we renovated here and regular readers will know that we moved into a very dated 60s house. So we were starting from scratch in here. We had dark parquetry floors, brown window frames, frilly curtains and all of that good stuff. To start off with, we painted the room in a nice blue grey. We then put in plantation shutters, new lighting and flooring. So the next thing we had to do was to pick the key pieces of furniture. This is a huge room, it's about seven metres wide, so when we put our old couch in here it just looked ridiculous. So one of the first things we did was to choose this great huge modular which is really comfy and we kept that in a neutral kind of palette. Then we chose a really large rug to anchor that and um, a great statement coffee table with the marble top. And then everything else we've really brought together with the use of the really feature colourful artwork and the cushions and accessories that tie in with that. One of the biggest things that was dating this house and giving it a really bad flow was all the different flooring we had everywhere. We had some dark parquetry in here, we had cork elsewhere. So once we changed everything and put in this beautiful oak look laminate, it was a massive game changer. It suddenly made our house seem so much more bright and modern. Now, if you read the blog regularly, you'll know that I'm a bit of a neat freak. Some would say OCD, I think that's excessive. But I have um, a toddler and they make a lot of mess. So one of the great things about this new house was that we had a room to use as a playroom. And we put in these plantation shutter doors so that we could hide all of the mess behind them. But at the same time, we can easily open them so we can see what he's up to. Now because this room was so big, it actually felt really imbalanced, so we had the sofa and the coffee table and everything was happening down one end. So finally worked out the way to solve that was by having this beautiful, huge open shelving um, installed. And this has also been the perfect place for me to display my many objects and accessories. And I think they're really important to give an idea of who lives in the house. Now a problem a lot of you might have is what do you do with all the coats and bags, especially in a family home where there's lots of people. And this was a problem that we face, especially because we don't have a separate hallway. You basically walk straight into this room. So the way we got around that is to install this amazing mud room is what it's called really, but it's actually just a hanging solution for all of those things so that they just immediately have a home as soon as you come in the door. I really hope you've enjoyed this look behind the scenes at our living room. If you have any questions about where things are from, then feel free to comment below. And I'd really love to know which room you'd like to see next.